Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for this Big Fix webinar series that we've had uh, the last, uh, well, throughout spring and now starting up again this fall. Today, you've signed up for five reasons you need HCL Hero application for Big Fix. Uh, we have our presenters today, Dan Powers, Kathy Wynn, and Roberto Lynch. And they were, uh, they all are here to give you a short overview. Um, we will take questions as we go. And um, at the end, we'll wrap it up with, uh, well, let me put it this way. During the, uh, the presentation, we'll take your questions as they come. At the end, we'll have a question and an ask of all of you. So don't jump off at the end because I think you'll be really excited about what we actually are going to be offering uh, at the end of this uh, 30 minutes. So uh, Dan, I think I'm turning it over to you and let's go ahead and get started. Why, right, thank you, Miss Tammy. And uh, thank you everybody for joining us. Again, 30 minutes, so we keep these short. That's what everybody seemed to enjoy. So we're gonna follow up with that. So that we, we obviously, this is a series. We always do a series. Uh, we, we did the last one last week where we talked. I was, as a business partner, very excited with, with the uh, HCL taking over of Big Fix. And we kind of went over, hey, what are the master classes, the user groups, new apps coming out, enhancements, education. So just, just to partake to, to the customers, hey, you know, the investment that HCL is really putting into the product and where they're going to take it in the future, right? Because we had quite a few of our own customers kind of nervous, wondering what was going to happen during all that stuff. So um, also very excited to always have Kathy Wynn on the phone with us. Uh, I'd love to banter with her back and forth. She's a great person. Um, and any of you folks that are in the master classes and went through the very, very cool escape room with Big Fix, uh, that's all, all from Ka uh, Kathy. Also on the line, we, we do have Roberto. Um, he's going to judge me and Kathy on how well we know Hero at the moment. I'm just kidding. Um, but he is here. He's one of the lead developers. So for, for any in-depth questions or maybe if something I get wrong, Roberto will correct me and keep me on track. So that's great. So again, the other thing to note is, again, last week, obviously for those that have joined it, you know, you knew the topics we covered. Uh, the future weeks coming up in this series, as I had mentioned, the first two, we really wanted to focus things around HCL and their commitment to the product and to commitment to you as customers. Um, next week or in the weeks following, we're going to get more interactive back into the console, trying to show people other things that you do with Big Fix. But again, this today, we're going to talk about the hero application. But again, October 24th, after our kickoff champions, we'll, we'll talk source of truth and big fix how to leverage that cmb cmdb information with big fix we're going to talk about in november 7th uh, some best practices around patching obviously that's always uh, an interesting topic that people like to talk about and then the other one just because i had another customer recently where we did some uh, monitoring best practices um, and, and it kind of coincides with today's talk around hero actually which by the way is still in beta but for folks that put big fix in and you know as you start rolling it out and i'm sure a lot of you on a phone can appreciate it is you you really start relying on it every day right for whether it's getting data whether it's doing patching software distribution compliancy um, and some of the things i think people fail to do is to set up monitoring like they would with any other application in their environment to make sure the product is running smoothly so kind of kind of hooks into what today's features are around Hero, and hopefully you guys appreciate what HCL is doing there. But again, that that last one on November 21st, um, we're gonna talk about things that, hey, un, until you get your hands on Hero, until Hero is generally released, you know, what else could you do to make sure your big fix environment is running smoothly? So um, I'm assuming there's no questions at the moment, Tammy, so I'll step forward at this point. Or Kathy, you have anything to comment in on? or? I do not at the moment, but thank you for asking. I'm sure you will shortly, but that's okay. So again, let's walk <laughs> forward here a little bit. <laughs> so, right? Uh, we wanted to introduce you to Hero. Again, to me, uh, it was great. Again, I said it before, I loved working with IBM. Uh, they, they really improved the product. They brought some features and tools in, like remote control and some other features that were legacy Tivoli products into Big Fix. 
But you know, over the last couple of years, I, there has a, keeping the product up and running, and HCL has actually been doing that for over a year now. Um, they, they didn't do a lot of other things, and what I really enjoyed and wanted to get people excited about was HCL's commitment, right? So, so we're going to jump into why hero, right? So, this is a single point of entry for for misconfiguration in your environment. It provides some run books. We got predictive analysis with some machine learning. Right. So again, as you become more dependent on big fix environment to take care of things, uh, honestly, what we don't want is you pulling your hair out or running around trying to figure out, you know, what's going wrong with your big fix environment. Um, and even if there's no issues, <clears throat> is it working optimally in your environment? Right. Um, a great concept or, or talk that I remember uh, when I first learned big fix, somebody asked him what was the greatest thing about big fix? And he said, hey, hey, I can affect 100,000 endpoints in seconds. And they said, well, tell me something bad about Big Fix. And he thought for a moment, looked up and said, I can affect 10, 100,000 endpoints in seconds. So Big Fix is incredibly powerful. There's a lot of things that we can do with the tool, as most of you guys know out there. And sometimes you're wondering, hey, am I doing the right thing, right? Do, is this configured correctly for my environment, for what I'm trying to do? So to me, that's where Hero is kind of coming in here to help us with a lot of these things. Uh, we can also customize with your run books, right? So what you might want to do in a certain event might be different from the guy down the street. And, and Hero gives you kind of some of that uh, capability to do it. And you can do all this from a single console, even if you have multiple environments. And correct me if I'm wrong, Roberto, that is true, right? Hero. You can, even if I have like a dev environment or a production environment or a desktop or server environment, they can all bubble up into this zero single hero interface, correct? Yeah, in the single console, you you can uh, select, you can add um, all environments, all of your environments, so you're not limited of how many environments do you have, do you need. Uh, of course, then you can uh, drill down inside each and every environment to check all the status. But just from the overview, you will be able to monitor and see the status of all the environments that you have. Awesome. So I, I'm not wrong there. So perfect. So I get a plus mark there. Um, and, and of so, course, what, what, what after? Oh, go ahead. Sorry, Kathy? I didn't mean to jump in. I was going to ask you, do you know why we named it Hero? No, actually, I do not. Just a fun fact I want to put in there. It stands for Health Check and Run Book Optimizer, H-E-R-O. OK, excellent. I actually did not know <laughs> that. Um, just a fun so, fact, so just a fun fact that I, I thought would be and I knew to say. And I knew you would jump in there when you had the opportunity to do so. And I, I always <laughs> like it more to love doing these with you. Um, and of course, as, and hopefully I don't kill his name, uh, Roberto Lenzi or Lenzi. I'm sorry, Roberto, if I said that wrong. Um, but if you but want, again, you can you just like, call me. If you want, you can just call me Robert. <laughs> I'm just going to stick with Roberto. I'm safe with there. Um, but he is one of the lead developers again. So again, as a business partner, and hopefully the customers on the line appreciate this as well. Uh, we got two people HCL. Usually, we always as champion. We kind of did these webinars on our own. Um, they've been incredibly helpful to us and really want to engage. So again, part of what Champion, we want to make sure you guys as customers understand is the uh, the, the commitment we're getting from HCL to, to really spread the news around Big Fix. So if we have questions, obviously some I can't answer. Roberto obviously is here on the line to help us. Um, there may be some things he can't remember. This is still in beta. Um, so again, this is going to be a lot of PowerPoint pieces and parts for this seminar. Like as I mentioned, the next seminar is coming up. We're going to get more back into the console with hands-on stuff to help you guys. But definitely really was impressed with Hero. And I'm glad you told me that acronym, Kathy, because I have multiple times with our customers, we always try to, you know, if we sell it or engage with the customers, offer that health check at least twice a year to make sure hey, are you getting the value out of Big Fix? Are you using all the modules? Um, because again, as most of you might know, Big Fix does so many things. And when you first start it, we always recommend, hey, pick one or two tasks, do it well, understand how it works, and then move on. 
So having that health check in there and those run books to me, I think was, was awesome. Um, and in and, and one sense, kind of eliminating the need for us to come in and do health checks once in a while. So putting the power back to the customers is, is really what we're looking at here. So with that, Let's kind of jump in and, and look at that quick dashboard. So I was correct, uh, that summary dashboard, right? It, it's really to detect and understand your issues, look at the overall health of your environment at the end of the day. So again, customers that have a dev environment, they have production, um, even if you're not an MSP, you still may have, I have multiple customers that run a desktop instance and they have a server instance. So you can have one place where you can kind of come in here and not only see issues, but you could say, hey, by the way, everything looks green according to what Hero sees at the moment, right? So you know the environment's running. Um, big fix today, as most of you know, you do have that, let's face it, a little outdated health dashboard in the maintenance module that kind of is on flat and it shows you how your environment you know, how's your relays talking? How many endpoints are checking in? Do you have too many uh, fixlets in a baseline and so forth? Uh, it's it's kind of rudimentary. It, it hasn't really expanded in, in a few years since I've seen it. So to me, Heroes is very, very welcome in, in this environment. And as we noted, you, you can have multiple environments pointing to that single dashboard. But if you do have an issue, right? Um, here, because of those run books, based on the information it's getting, can kind of start laying out, hey, here's probably a couple steps that you should go do. Whether if anybody on the line has ever had a fill DB issue, or maybe a fill DB even down at the, at the uh, not a fill DB, but a, a, an issue down at a relay, right? Pulling data up. Uh, Big Fix is incredibly fast, as we all know, kind of that near real time reporting capabilities. But if I have relay problems down the line and endpoints are stuck to that relay or, or you know, something's in a weird state, I could kind of start losing some of that real time of uh, visibility into those machines. So to me, this is something that Hero is really filling that gap in. And of course, what I also liked is the forethought that you can create your own run books, right? So something in your environment, you may want to do slightly different. You have that capability. Uh, Roberta, can you, can you talk about that for a minute? Is that, because honestly, I know it's there, um, but I've never created my own run book. What, can you give me a, a use case or maybe how easy it might be to create your own run book? Yeah, sure. So uh, out of the box, so we are offering a list of run books, uh, uh, both recovery run books, uh, so for uh, solving issues, uh, and uh, just run books to execute uh, um, a list of stuff on your uh, environments. Uh, those run books have, have been thought uh, uh, through the help of big fix experts. So we have taken a lot of feedback of uh, um, which were the, the biggest issue or the most annoying task to execute manually on the big fix environments. And we have created the, these out of the box run books. But of course, uh, um, like, was, like Dan was saying, we have the, the opportunity to add custom run books. Right now, the run books are, um, are just uh, some JavaScript files, some, so, some just scripts in a, in a specific directory. So when you have to add your own run books, you can have your own run books just by creating the script file in the, in the structure that we provide. And this script will automatically be um, saved by Hero and then proposed inside your dashboard. Uh, of course, this is not the only way to uh, change run books. So you don't want you uh, always to go inside files. But uh, if you access the Hero dashboard with uh, an admin account, you can uh, modify the run books on the fly. So you are going to select one run book, uh, uh, Eero will show you the run book. If the run book needs some parameters, you can add uh, or change the, the parameters. Then you, you will have the list of commands that Hero will start to execute. And if you have an admin uh, role, you can just uh, modify that and then click run. So it will be that easy to change uh, little stuff inside the, the, the existing run books. 
Uh, of course, as I was saying, this is only for administrator accounts. If you are just an operator, you will be able only to provide parameters inside the runbooks, but you will not be allowed to modify that, them. Okay, that makes sense. So me and me and Kathy can modify the runbooks. Tammy can only execute them because you know. <laughs> I do have a question for you. Uh, yeah. If I could, if I could jump in. Uh, is this something external you install? Is there a license involved? Two questions. Uh, okay, so about this part, uh, um, all the stuff that is protected by the license of, um, of HCL, it's the stuff provided out of the box and the stuff that we are going to provide uh, to provide to our customers. For example, if a customer needs some specific run books, we can make them uh, for 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 themselves, of, of course, we cannot uh, uh, put license on, uh, on 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 scripts made by by other people. Uh, I know I am not uh, the the best person for legal stuff. Uh, this is just uh, a little introduction about uh, uh, how legally it works. So, if you need more information about this, please contact Ernesto that is our product manager and actually knows a lot more better about um, legal stuff about here. So, so Roberto, I, that makes sense, right? If you needed customized things, right? I, that you said total sense to me, but Hero itself, just, just Hero out of the box, nothing customized, is that, because actually that's a good question, I don't know the, the answer. Is that a, a license? Like, oh, just like, hey, I, I wanna buy compliancy? Or is just is Hero itself something that HCL is just going to say, hey, if you bought Big Fix, whether it's patch, compliancy, lifecycle, whatever, you get uh, Hero, or is, or is that a separate license slash cost, just in general? Okay, yeah, I can answer about that. So um, right now we are still working uh, on offers and pricing. As you said, we are in beta, so we have the, the offering teams that is working about this. And of course, they can provide you better information, always call Ernesto. Uh, but what can I say is that right now, we are offering three months of uh, free early adopters program on which we are going to, uh, to provide uh, Hero, uh, free of license, uh, free of charge, so you don't have to pay anything without any obligations. So after the three months, if you didn't like it, you can just uninstall Hero. Hero itself will just shut down, uh, uh, not shut down, sorry, will just block, it, uh, block you uh, from using it. Uh, so you have to buy the tool to unlock that. But you will have these three months on which uh, you will help us uh, providing the better experience for the customers because you will always have the help of our experts, me included. Um, and you will have help about installation, configuration, uh, uh, new scenarios, uh, new run books, uh, run books, customization, environment customization, and all of this stuff for this three, three months of, uh, of early trial. Okay. Well, that, okay. But I, to me, it does. It makes sense, right? And and certainly provide more information as as obviously this comes more and more out of uh, beta mode, if you will. So, but that makes sense that we get that that months for free and so forth. And to me, it is a separate uh, install, so it's not like a domain inside of Big Fix. And and we're going to talk about that in in a couple slides coming up. It's important because they're using a lot of, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but some KPI, some, some uh, REST interface and so forth, so that even if your big fix environment is having problems, Hero can still run, because part of Hero might be, hey, you're having a problem, um, so it, it is kind of standalone in, in that sense where it can still help you fix your, your big fix issue, and that's, that's actually in a couple slides coming up, so I think that was the second half of that gentleman's question, right? So. Okay, but to me, we answered the question, and if not, you can, you can type it back in, and Tammy will interrupt us with more of that. Um, so, so, so again, actually, this kind of answers part of that question. Uh, predict KPIs as well, right? So monitor running over time. It can help us uh, determine root causes of things because, again, you know, with enterprise application, 
there's obviously commonalities across the board, but how you implemented it versus someone down the street, there may be nuances. Hey, did you have stuff in the cloud? Where's your relays? Where's the DMZ? How's your network set up? So having that capability of long-term KPIs and analysis over time is also going to have help you with Hero to optimize your environment um, and be able to also give you some feedback so that you, your big fix environment stays running smoothly before there's an issue. And again, I think you know people put big in, and and I, I, again, all of my customers anyway, they really start relying on this over and over and over, and they kind of forget, hey, this is this is a product you're running constantly. Um, and again, I get back to that. Hey, you got to make sure it's working right. You should be monitoring this just like you do any other application in your environment, like your SQL servers. Um, and people forget to do that. Hence why our last seminar or last event in this seminar series will be things to monitor whether you have Hero or not. <laughs> but anyway, that's some of the cool things that that I loved about it is, is these pieces. So uh, moving forward a little bit again, we look at or I looked at, you know, where does Hero fit in to the environment, right? Um, again, get right back to what I was talking about. And, and Kathy, I'm sure you can jump in here and help me out a little bit. But, you know, people start using Big Fix, right? And you, every environment's different, unique. Uh, they start looking at, hey, we're patching better, we're doing compliancy software, we're getting user data, I'm creating reports, I'm populating my CMDB, I'm doing configuration changes. And they're constantly start doing this. And, and when there's an issue in the environment, you know, obviously that impacts them and they start to realize, geez, I, I forgot how much I rely on Big Fix day to day. And as to me, again, as I learned Big Fix at first, it was seemed a little intimidating. Um, I felt the other tools I played with and used, uh, the learning curve was much smaller. But at the end of the day, sometimes I forget that we've been running Big Fix for a long time and helping customers. And I kind of forget what it was like six years ago or seven years ago when I first started using this. It, it, there's relays, there's endpoints, how do they talk, UDP, TCP, command polling, the database is involved, the relays. You know, you just start taking some of this stuff for granted of your knowledge. Um, and again, since Big Fix is to me that, that two-edged sword, right? The three of us sitting here on the line could have a problem and three of us might solve it three different ways. None of them are necessary. Um, and to me, this is where Hero kind of fit in, right? It's gonna help you keep your environment running smoothly so you don't have to take time to do it. It's gonna help you find issues before they become problems. It's going to predictively look at your environment because Big Fix to me was always some of the default settings, you know, we're assuming, hey, we, we're in an environment that could be up to 250,000 endpoints. Um, most clients aren't that big. So again, you come down to some of the, this information, say, hey, is it tuned? for me is 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 the environment configured specifically for my needs so to me hero was helping you keep focused and all of those things from finding an issue to predictive analytics to looking forward to make sure the environment's running perfectly for you and your needs over time and again i'm going to come back to well when you got uh, a junior admin right help them ramp up on skills um, and Kathy, if you want to chime in there, like I said, is I, to me, I kind of forget sometimes, you know, how much I learned. And I and I look at Big Fix over time and say, hey, once you get into it, this is easy. But but someone new to it, it's a lot to learn. That's absolutely, you're absolutely right. You A lot of times you get overwhelmed. And Big Fix usually works very smoothly and okay. But when something goes down or if there's an issue, you have to go through your troubleshooting stuff. You got to look in logs, you got to check the relays. You got to check the servers and all of that. So with Hero, you can eliminate most of these steps or all of these steps so that you can just look at the console and go, hey, what's going on? Is there something happening? And another use case I want to bring in is what about your off, um, the employees off site? Or if you have another team that might, that doesn't have the capabilities like the administrator capabilities in the console and such, you can actually go into Hero and for if the Big Fix server needed a service to be restarted, you can just restart it from there versus actually, you don't need to know Big Fix um, to use Hero. That's how I would 
uh, think of it. So that is great one of point. the, yep. That, no, it's a great point. And, and again, this was a, a, a gap, I think, um, you know, it, once we had customers after a little while running it, right? And what I always hated was having a customer using it for a little bit, and then they had a relay problem or, you know, something went wrong. And as we went back and looked at it, it was, ah, you know, if we if we only had a monitor on this or detected this, you know, a couple of days ago, we wouldn't, we never would have had an outage, right? So it's like any other enterprise application in, in that sense. So to me, I, I was very much welcoming Hero. Uh, oh my God, it's almost 2.30 already. We promised to keep these at 30 minutes. So, okay, we're gonna move along a little bit. And again, Tammy, let us know if you have a, a question or two, but so again, a couple of the driving points, you know, just, just to reiterate this home, hopefully get people excited a little bit about Hero. And these are just, again, reiterating what we've already said, right? Uh, detect and understand issues in the environment, right? And it's doing this through monitoring and KPIs. So it's kind of out of the band, right? So the gentleman that asked the question before, hey, is this built into big fix data band? It's kind of out of band because to me, a lot of you know new tools, whether it's hardware or software, they can do some self-monitoring, which, which is great. Hey, am I healthy? What's my heart? Are things working? But at the end of the day, if something is wrong, I, I cannot 100% rely on your self-help monitoring because if there's an issue, you may be messed up enough that you don't understand it. So so that is kind of out of the uh, out of band. Uh, again, root cause analysis, and, and that's that history to help you understand, hey, a service stop. Kathy brought up a good point. Hey, a relay service stop. Well, what if it keeps happening every week, every month, right? What is the root cause of this? Because, yeah, we can restart it. We can use Hero. We get an alert. We can have a junior admin to restart it. But at the end of the day, there's an issue there, and, and we need to get to the root cause of that, right? Um, another part of it, what, what are some of the default things I do? I mean, let's face it, I think everybody on the line can do some of the same, same things. You have an issue, uh, what do I do? I Google it, um, or unless I've seen this issue before, I hit the big fix forms, great, love the big fix forms, people are always help, there to help, the big fix Slack, as we talked about last week, right? How to engage with the big fix community, people are awesome, but I love this idea of the run books. And as Roberto was indicating, you know, they're working hand in hand with the developers of Big Fix. Hey, what, what if we see this error, er, error, excuse me, what do we do? Hey, some of those things are going to be out of the box. But to Roberto's point, you may have some customized reason to do deviate from that default run book. So I love the idea that you are able to add comments or add your own run book scenario to that, right? That says, hey, for us, you need to go do these three things type of things. So I love that analysis, if you will. And I apologize. I should have shut my email off. I know that keeps popping up on my screen. Um, the last two things, like I said, right, you can run the solution, as Roberto is saying. So it's not just, hey, here's some things you need to go do here. But right from here, oh, you can go restart a service. You can run some JavaScript. You can take action to hopefully rectify your issue. And of course, going forward with that historical analysis is really preventing issues in the first place. And then we want to get. So again, Hero still in some beta. Um, some of this stuff we took out of wh wh where the HCL is trying to go with Hero. Um, again, some things may change. I got to point that out. It's it's still beta. They're getting a lot of feedback from customers as well. But to me, I was very excited about this product and I hope, hope other folks are as well as you see this. And I know I'm speaking quicker now. We promised folks this would only be 30 minutes and we're coming up to the end of that. So kind of good time. So Tammy, are there any other questions that people may have out there um, at this uh, point? Yeah, there are not questions at this point, Dan, but I think we've got a couple of little wrap up things. So if you have questions, go ahead and start typing them in. Um, first and foremost, uh, you heard about the uh, three-month uh, trial or uh, that you could get. Um, if anybody is interested, please go into the question area and let us know you're interested, and we'll make sure we work with HCL that you can get the copy of the of a, of a beta. Uh, that that's first and foremost. Uh, second thing is, oh, I did get a, I did get a question here. Web interface or software is the question. Okay, so That's you, is our web oh, sorry, then <laughs> I was just uh, starting. 
uh, yeah, it's a, it's a web interface, it's a web application, so it's not a uh, software installed on, on, your, on your device. You will have just uh, a, a server on which you will start the, the backend and then you will access the Hero console through the web browser. Okay, okay. thank you, Roberto. Is, 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 is it Windows, Linux, is it a choice? Can it be a VM? Uh, and uh, actually, I, I just thought of all those questions myself. Uh, since we are leveraging an uh, installation with Docker, actually can run on all the operating systems. So if you have to install it on a virtual machine, on a Windows uh, server, or on a Linux server, you can install it wherever you want. Uh, just one thing, we, uh, we usually suggest uh, to install Eero on a, a different machine of other big fixed components. Uh, so yeah. if the machines in the, in the environment goes down, Eero will not go down and we'll be able to notify if some big fixed component is not running. That that makes sense. Actually, that's interesting because I did not actually know it was in Docker. So uh, great. I learned something today too. That's awesome. All right. So do we have any other questions, Tammy? We are, and, and again, right at the nice uh, mark. Her, and I hope you guys come in for the for the rest of our series. We will get back hands on uh, it, back into the console and, and show you some some cool stuff. But Tammy, I, I know you had some other things to say. Yeah, I, I was just going to wrap up here. We did we did finish all the questions. So again, we won't shut it down right now. If you want to uh, request a copy of the beta, uh, so we'll leave that open for a second. The next webinar is on October twenty fourth. This one is um, how to leverage your source of truth with Big Fix and ServiceNow. For, so for those folks that have ServiceNow out there, this is uh, a really exciting one that I believe, Dan, we actually will be doing a live demo on that one. Is that correct? Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to get back a little more live in the console. Again, it's always difficult, right? Trying to jam as much as we can into 30 minutes. Um, the goal, of course, of these first two, I felt it was important. Us as business partners, we've been talking to Kathy, we've been talking to the Dan Paquettes, the Jagos, the Robertos, and we've been extremely excited about HCL taking over. We just wanted to make sure we parted that picture to folks. But yes, it will be much more interactive in the company. Awesome. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, for everybody on, this is recorded today. I'm sorry I didn't say that before, so we will send you a recording of this if you want to share it with uh, your coworkers. Also, when you get this email, you will have a copy of all the previous ones all the way back to spring. So I um, appreciate it. I do see some requests out here. Uh, just I'll answer verbally. We will get in contact with you to do the beta. So as long as you're saying you want it, I see your names, I have your contact info, uh, we will get back with you and get you set up with that beta. Uh, like I said, we're doing it in conjunction with uh, Roberta and Kathy, so uh, it shouldn't take us too long to get that for you. Um, and that's it, Dan. I think I think we've answered everything that was uh, um, relevant to uh, Roberto or Kathy needing to answer. I appreciate it. So first of all, I'd like to say thank you to to Kathy and Roberto. Again, they've been awesome at helping us as champion, uh, working well as a team together. And more importantly, thank all of you for spending the 30 minutes with us again, taking time out of your week. So we really appreciate it. Hope everybody has a great day. Thank you, everyone. And go get that Thank hero. You, <laughs> get your hero, man. Kathy's yes. my hero. <laughs>